Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Mother Baby Care. Today's video is about the placenta. So let's start this video. What is the placenta? The placenta is a temporary organ that connects your baby to your uterus during pregnancy. The placenta develops shortly after conception and attaches to the wall of your uterus. Your baby is connected to the placenta by the umbilical cord. Together, the placenta and umbilical cord act as your baby's lifeline while in the uterus. When does the placenta form? The placenta begins to form after a fertilized egg implants in your uterus around 7 to 10 days after conception. It continues to grow throughout your pregnancy to support your baby. The placenta starts as a few cells and grow to be several inches long. What are the functions of the placenta? The placenta helps to keep your baby alive and healthy during pregnancy. Your blood passes through the placenta and provides oxygen, glucose and nutrients to your baby through the umbilical cord. The placenta can also filter out harmful waste and carbon dioxide from your baby's blood. The placenta enables the exchange of oxygen and nutrients between the blood streams of you and your baby without ever mixing them. It acts as your baby's lungs, kidneys and liver until birth. As you get closer to delivery, the placenta passes antibodies to your baby to jumpstart its immunity. This immunity sticks with your baby for the first several months of life. The placenta produces several important hormones like lactogen, estrogen and progesterone during pregnancy. These pregnancy hormones are beneficial to both you and your baby. For example, the placenta produces a hormone that suppresses milk production during pregnancy. Does the placenta move? Sort of. The placenta appears to move only because the uterus expands as the pregnancy and fetus grow. Your healthcare provider will look at the location of your placenta during your 20-week anatomy ultrasound and determine if its position may cause complications. Most placentas move to the top or side of the uterus by 32 weeks of pregnancy. Location of the placenta the placenta can form anywhere in your uterus. It develops wherever the fertilized egg implants into your uterine wall. Some of the positions of the placenta are First, posterior placenta. The placenta grows on the back wall of your uterus. is called posterior placenta. Second, anterior placenta. When the placenta grows on the front wall of your uterus closest to your abdomen, it is known as anterior placenta. Third, frontal placenta. When the placenta grows at the top of the uterus, it is called frontal placenta. Fourth, lateral placenta. When the placenta grows on the right or left wall of your uterus, it is known as lateral placenta. The placenta can move up until about 32 weeks of pregnancy. It's common to have a placenta that moves upwards and away from your cervix as your baby gets bigger. What does the placenta look like? The placenta looks like a disc of bumpy tissue rich in blood vessels, making it appear dark red at term. Most of the mature placental tissue is made up of blood vessels. They connect with the baby through the umbilical cord and branch throughout the placenta disc like the limbs of a tree. What color is the placenta? The placenta has two sides, the side attached to your uterus and the side closest to your baby. The side attached to your uterine wall is a deep reddish blue color while the side facing your baby is grey. How big is a normal placenta? The placenta is about 10 inches long and 1 inch thick at its center. It weighs around 16 ounces by the time your baby is born. 
वट आर कॉमन कंडीशन एंड डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ द प्लेसेंटा एन इशू विद योर प्लेसेंटा कैन बी डेंजरस फॉर बोथ यू एंड योर बेबी सम ऑफ द कॉम्प्लिकेशन एसोसिएटेड विद द प्लेसेंटा आर फर्स्ट प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया वैन द प्लेसेंटा कवर्स ऑल और पार्ट ऑफ द सर्विक्स इट इज नोन एज प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया और अ लो लाइंग प्लेसेंटा सेकेंड प्लेसेंटा एक्रेटा The placenta attaches too deeply to the wall of your uterus it is known as placenta accreta third placental abruption placental abruption is a condition during pregnancy when the placenta separates from the uterus too early fourth placental insufficiency when the placenta isn't providing enough nutrients or oxygen to your baby it is known as placental insufficiency fifth retained placenta When part of the placenta stays inside your uterus after pregnancy it is called retained placenta tell your healthcare provider if you have had surgery on your uterus or vagina or if you have had problems with your placenta in prior pregnancies what are the most common signs of a placenta disorder bleeding from your vagina is the most common sign that there is a problem with the placenta not everyone experiences bleeding so it's important to discuss your pregnancy symptoms with your healthcare provider symptoms like abdominal pain or contractions could also mean there is a problem with the placenta in some cases a baby that measures too small for dates suggests a problem with the placenta how are conditions of the placenta treated during pregnancy Treating a condition of the placenta varies during pregnancy. In most cases, it's dependent on the severity of the condition and how far along you are in pregnancy. Your healthcare provider will monitor you and your baby closely to make sure you are both safe. Some of the treatment for placental issues during pregnancy could include more frequent ultrasounds and prenatal appointments. preterm birth labor induction avoiding sex exercise or other activities that can cause bleeding bad rest c section what types of substances are bad for the placenta medicine drugs alcohol and nicotine can all transfer from your blood stream to your baby through the placenta Talk to your healthcare provider before taking any prescription or over-the-counter medications during pregnancy. Drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes is not recommended during pregnancy. How is the placenta delivered? The placenta is delivered shortly after your baby is born, usually between 5 and 30 minutes after. This is called the afterbirth or the third stage of labor. If you have delivered your baby vaginally your uterus will continue to contract to expel the placenta your healthcare provider may push on your belly or ask you for one final push if your baby was born via c section your healthcare provider removes the placenta through the incision used to deliver your baby in rare cases part of the placenta stay in your uterus after delivery This can cause bleeding, pain and infection. What happens to the placenta after birth? In most cases your placenta is thrown away after birth. However, some people choose to bank placental tissue through a stem cell bank. Placental tissue banking is when tissue and blood from the placenta are collected and stored after delivery. The placental tissues are rich in stem cells. that can treat certain diseases and life threatening conditions your placenta is the lifeline between you and your baby it's a vital organ that provides your baby with nutrients and oxygen until birth certain conditions during pregnancy can affect your placenta and cause it not to work as well as it should talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions about the placenta its function or any placental complications they can check to make sure your placenta is functioning as it should and explain how it works during pregnancy 
So that's all about today's video. Visit our website www.motherbabycare.in and also like our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash motherbabycare.in. Like share this video and do subscribe our channel Mother Baby Care. Thanks for watching this video.